about these oracles? Oh, not very much. <laughs> they were very mysterious. They served as mystic liaisons, allowing man to connect with supernatural forces. If we can believe the ancient texts, the oracles possessed uh, strange powers. What kind of powers did the oracles possess? Some passages mention a supernatural life force permitting the Oracle to live for several hundred years. Tell me, how did the sacrificial ceremony work? Come, I'll show you. I'll get into your head and make you murder other people. Mwahaha. I am actually Secret the Oracle. This painting, uh, dating from the first century BC, shows a sacrificial ceremony. The victim's agony must have lasted quite some time. The priority being to keep the mouths open as long as possible. The victim was stabbed three times, each wound cutting a pulmonary artery leading to the heart. Hmm. How did the ritual sacrifice work? Oh, the Oracle must never soil himself with the blood of another. That is why he chooses a sort of proxy, another person in the crowd, totally at random. This person becomes the Executor. The Oracle takes complete control of the Executor, manipulating him from a distance. Hmm. Conclusion. Mayan sacrifice. That's what it was. Should have asked for the executor. You aren't a journalist, are you? Who are you? My name is Lucas Kane. The police are looking for me about a murder that I did not commit, but I was the executor. You're a murderer? I'm innocent. I stabbed someone I'd never seen before, three times, cutting his arteries. Just like you described. Do you mean to say that there is a Mayan Oracle still living today? <laughs> but, but that's completely impossible. You said they could live for a hundred years. I'll show you my Have forearm. you ever seen this symbol before? Oh, it's the symbol of Quagnitlan. The executors cut this into their own forearms before accomplishing the sacrifice. So, it is true. My God. The Codex was right. The Codex? What are you talking about, Professor? You can't stay here. Your picture is in the paper that the security guard is reading. He's sure to recognize you. Come, let's leave here, and I'll tell you all about it. Sweetness. Oh no, bonus! You see that bonus in the corner. Thank you for your help, Professor. Uh-oh. Uh. He's trying to kill the Professor! Uh. Holy crap! How does that even fit? Oh no, not that's a gun. Uh. Hmm. And I just lost my life again. No. Don't just throw that at me when I'm not ready yet. Great. Whoa! Wow. Ah, oh, these things are getting harder too. Whoa. Whoa, do your freaking Superman jump.
Holy crap, he's pretty badass. I'm starting to like Lucas King. He went from this Professor. emo dude to badass. The Codex speaks of the coming of a child, a prophet, the answer to all of life's questions. <coughs> the Oracle kills to find the child. <coughs> Why does everyone... Whoa. Am I at the Oracle's place? I think I am. Because those are not normal shoes. Ah, there you are. I've been looking forward to meeting you. Few men are capable of resisting an oracle. What is there so different about you? What is there so different about me? The chroma. You have the chroma. So that explains it. How did you ever acquire such a power? No matter. What matters is, the time has come for you to die. What, 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 what? Me. Why me? Why choose me? Pure chance. The executor is always taken from the crowd. It's a great honor for you to be chosen to serve Kwetmitlan. I know. What's Chroma? A chroma? What does that mean? The force that created the universe, the origin of everything. It gives extraordinary powers to those who possess it. We should really brush your teeth. Enough talk. Other matters await my attention. We will see each other again in the other world. Kibin Tina Quentaune. Oh. Um, again? Wasn't he supposed to not murder people, or is this just another vision thing? Please don't make me do the double tap thing. Please don't make me do the double tap thing. Lucas, keep running from the freaking tiger thing. Panther, actually. But okay. That wasn't too great. Wow. I had to dodge that. Okay, it's going faster than. Things getting closer, Lucas. Wait, time has stopped. Punch it in the face. Agatha. Are you in Agatha? But how? Listen closely, Lucas. Those who employ the Oracle are searching for a little girl. A perfectly pure soul that's never been incarnated. Her coming was foretold by the most ancient prophecy in human history. She's the one you see in your dreams. You must find her before the Oracle does and put her someplace safe. Hurry, there isn't much time and they are already back on your trail. Can we not just give the child to the Oracle and let him leave us alone? Or join him in his service. Because... I must inform you that we are unhappy. Very unhappy. He has escaped you again. First in the museum lot. A big mistake, the museum lot. And then in the wave. What's worse, you showed yourself openly to him. And all for nothing. It's just... I was unaware of certain factors, my lords. 
Which factors? He possesses the Chroma. That's impossible. Idiocy! How could he possess the Chroma? I know not, but it is a certainty that he does. This is how he resisted my psychic attacks and successfully evaded the police. This could force us to change our plans. This is serious. Very serious. That is not all. Someone has intervened. What do you mean? While you were with him in the wave? Yes, my lord. Someone brushed aside all of my attacks on Kane and protected him. It was not one of ours. Certainly not. No. I think it was something else. Its chroma was... different. Another clan? That's impossible. Only we are left. We have a rival. Who searches for the Indigo child as we do. They must not find the child. That would be a catastrophe. A disaster. Kane is on their side. Unless they are just using him. He is the key. He sees through our eyes. He must not find the child. You must deal with this problem. Definitively. I have already taken measures. He will be definitively dealt with, and soon. Do not disappoint us. You may leave us. How nice of them. Yeah, I'm not going to like that, am I? Why is he blonde? Is he blonde? Did he suddenly go blonde? The Oracle is in Marcus's church. There's not a moment to lose. I've got to warn him or he's dead. He looks way better than before. Backup will be here any minute now. No way. This time I'm going to get him. The desk guy swore to us that he was in his room and he's not going to get away. I hope that guy didn't screw up when he said he recognized Kane's photo from the papers. He looked so blind he wouldn't recognize his own mother in a phone booth. We'll find the answer in room 369. Yeah, but I sort of want to, uh... Can I go out the window? Wait. Yes, I have escaped through the window. I'm not here. Um, where am I going? 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 What am I going to do? Up, Marcus, pick up. Hello, my son. What can I do for you? Sir, can I help you with something? Oh. Where is he hiding? Marcus! the end of my story. Okay, that was a dub action. <laughs> okay, get up. Open a window. Don't go to bed. Call your bro. Bro. Pick up, Marcus. Pick up. Hello, my son. Telephone. I'll be with you in just a minute. I just need to answer the telephone. Move, 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 move! Run to the telephone! Where's the phone? Where's the phone? St. Paul's Cathedral. Marcus, he's in the church. Don't let him get anywhere near you. Lucas? Is that you, Lucas? What's going on? Uh, no time. I don't have time to explain, Marcus. Run, right now. Shut the doors and lock them tight. I'm begging you, just, just do what I say. Oh, come now, Lucas. Just do it, now! Lock it, lock it, lock it. Okay. I think he's safe. Pick up the phone again. All right, I'm locked in. Now, can you explain what's going on? Call the police, and don't come out until they get there. 
Lucas? 369. Here it is. Let's hope Lucas is gone. Is it 369? No, this is 374. Wait for me, dude! Nobody move! Either he's gone through some changes since the photo, or <laughs> this is not him. Shit! What the hell happened? Calm down, girl. That's I think there's been a slight misunderstanding. 366. Tyler, it was the wrong room! Huh? There must be another room 369 down the hall somewhere. Yes, somewhere near the 71 thing. Which one is this? 64. 63. Alright. <laughs> Not this way. Come on, buddy. Let's go this way. I think this is the one. Dude, that's not a room. Alright. This one. Bam! I think the bird has flown the coop. I'm gonna find him, Tyler. I promise you. Come on, let's go. What? Now he's Spider-Man? You crazy. Crazy Lucas. Again the phone? Lucas! You have to come over right now! They say they'll kill me if you don't come! I'm at the old amusement park! Please! Hurry, Lucas! You must realize now that I am not joking. So please, don't delay. Bitch broke up with me. The fuck do I care? Please give me a select. Freaking. Fine, fine. I'll just finish it this time. I'm moving towards my death. Everything that I've been through since the second I entered that diner, all of it was leading me to this moment. I was tired of fighting, running, and hiding all the time. I was losing anyway. There was only one thing left to do. Try to save Tiffany's life. And after that, I decided not to fight my destiny anymore. Lucas! Lucas, help me! Tiffany, she's at the top of the roller coaster. I have to find a way up there. Where's the roller coaster? That's weird. I get the feeling I've seen that guy somewhere before. At the diner. Where is the roller coaster? Still not. Uh, look. Lucas! The... Lucas, help me! I don't even know where the roller coaster is, bitch. Shut up. Can I? That's not a roller coaster. That's not. A... There it is. Through the roller coaster. What do I do? What do we do? Lucas! Here? Lucas, help me! Yes, yes. He's leaving. Okay, that's kind of a creepy looking roller coaster right there. Let's ride the roller coaster to our death. Yes, you should definitely pull that down because I think this is going to be a bumpy ride. Get ready. No, not even a get ready. Wow, I have never heard of roller coasters that actually Go stop away, at Luke. the top. It's a trap! They're gonna kill you! Yes, I know. That was their plan all along. And I don't think this is the right one. What? 
Use the left and right arrow keys to keep marking the center of the time. No! Okay, so if you and press that's how my story right, ends. the arrow goes Officially, they left. called it a suicide. If you press left, the arrow goes right. I know it's a trap. Don't tell me again. Get ready. Yes, you already told me. Mm -hmm. And that's how my story ends. Officially, they called it a... Right. I know. Officially, they call it a suicide. Get ready. Okay, tapping it also does not work. And that's how my story ends. Officially, they call they call it a suicide. Yes, you already told me that. Um, so how does this work? Yes. Yeah, see, I'm. Am I supposed to tap it? Am I and that's how my that story ends. Officially, they called it a suicide. Is that what I'm supposed to do? Am I supposed to use A and D? Don't try tapping it this time. You already said that. Nope, tapping it doesn't work. And that's how my story ends. Officially, they called it... Alright. Let's try A and D, then. A and D work. What? It says the arrow keys, but it actually and means how my story A and ends. D. Officially, they called it a suicide. It sort of makes sense, because I changed it around instead of the left and right arrows, arrow keys, you know. No. What? Okay, now I still have to figure and out that's how, how my to story redo ends. it. Officially they call Officially they call it a suicide. Yes, I know, you've already told me like fifteen times. Yes. So Alright. I think I figured it out. It doesn't help that the wind is blowing. Let's just hope no freaking crow comes around and knocks us off. This is kind of hard, but it's not as hard as the quickly tapping the A and D buttons. Should have just like done like the monkey crawl thing. Hello, I'm here to free you. Let me untie this. Hello, I love you. Enjoy your ride to the other world. Should have brought a gun, dude. You could have shot him with a gun. And now he's dead. Wait. I can pick Lucas Kane in an unknown place. I just saw him die. Or I can pick the Oracle in the unknown place. I can play as the Oracle. That's badass. That's what I'm going to do next time. Because this time, I'm going to end it right here! So thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.